Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. DJ Academics got himself into some ish once again. His ex-girlfriend is claiming that he SA'd her alongside his buddies while she was over at his house and it's not looking too good. It's, not, it's just not looking too good, y'all. I got the video I want to play for y'all and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go! Let's look at this mess here. DJ Academics hit with rape and defamation lawsuit. Article written by Alexander Cole. The woman claims academic friends also allegedly assaulted her. DJ Academics is facing some incredibly serious allegations right now, according to a new report from Rolling Stone. Academics is being sued for R word, SA, and defamation. The lawsuit was filed by a woman named Faya. Uh, see, I don't know why they named these children. I don't know if she's African or from the island. We say her name is Abachi, Zaya Abachi, Fazaya Abachi. Previously, the two had a brief relationship in 2021 after they met through the internet. Oh my God. This dude, what's up with this dude and this internet? That's, that's the first point. However, after having not seen each other for over a year, Abachi claims academics invited her to his house in New Jersey on July 16, 2022. Abachi goes on recount goes on to recount some truly disturbing allegations as she explains when she got to Axe Place, two of his friends allegedly drug her and then already her on his pool deck. Subsequently, at 4 a.m. the next day, she alleges being woken up by academics who was allegedly pulling her hair, prying open her legs, and brutally R-wording her. From there, Abachi alleged that academics showed her surveillance footage of what happened on the pool deck that same morning. In text messages, academics allegedly told Abachi to get tested and that he would too. Overall, the lawsuit claims that this is proof that the two had unprotected sex. As Rolling Stone reports, Abachi got a R-word kit which showed traces of academics DNA. Wow. Furthermore, the police had her do a wired phone call with the media personality where he went into detail about their alleged encounter however abachi eventually decided not to press charges and leave things be that said the situation went viral at the end of 2023 as clips emerged on social media additionally academics went on his stream and said that he was asleep when his friends had sex with her he also said he never did anything and that everything was consensual this led to her suing academics for defamation for accusing her of voluntarily <clears throat> having an orgy with his friends at his home while maintaining that he never participated at all. At this time, academics has not responded to the allegations. Rolling Stone contacted him for a statement, although he declined to give one. This lawsuit comes on the same day that academics Instagram page was either suspended or shut down by academics himself. If you guys want to check out this article once again it is hotnewshiphop.com Woo, this man is in some hot trouble he this man has made so many stakes he's he's not good with maneuvering around people uh i will meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion music lovers let's go would y'all like my opinion would y'all like some of this rooted in music tv commentary well of course you do that's why your ass is here dj academics for what I'm seeing from this nigga DJ Academic, he's an incel, right? He's a he's in, he's in his creepy dark basement. This man's in a creepy dark basement most of the time, 
And you can tell he's not good at his social skills. This is a lesson today. In order to be great, we gotta make great decisions. All my music lovers, we gotta make great decisions. And you gotta decide how to move around people. See, I'm very, very standoffish with people because I'm a good dude, I have good energy, and I love bringing the best out of people, but I know there's a lot, a lot of demonic people walking around among us. Us beautiful people right here, there's a lot of sad, sorry, miserable people out in the world, so you just gotta be cautious, and I don't know if DJ Academics, he uh, yearns for affection, I don't know if he just unsure about himself, unsure about who he, who he is as a man, what he wants out of life, because he has everything. DJ Academic has everything, so I'm not sure at this stage in the game how he's still insecure, but a lot of men who have means, a lot of men that has resources, they're not good with women. Kevin Samuels brought this to our attention while he was alive. Kevin Samuels, most of his clients were men, high value men, making, uh, I want to say the least, 65, 70K and up, but really around the $90,000, $100,000 range. And he was helping them get their swag back. Think about these men are very intelligent engineers, entrepreneurs, um, managers, CEOs. I mean, these are guys who have built themselves up, lawyers, doctors, and they're looking for a mate. And even these men who put in all this time and effort to build themselves up, DJ Academic Sue has built himself up, just not good with women. We all can't be good at everything in life. Find what you're good at. Find a couple, I'd say, I think it's good to find at least three things you're very good at and you capitalize on it. You build off that, build your legacy off it. You know, if you're good at arguing, become a lawyer, be the best lawyer you can be. Get that damn money. Get your name out there, get your business card, get your, your own law firm. Get you a nice office with your with your big chair, all them fancy books behind you. Do what you gotta do. DJ Academics, this isn't the this isn't the first time women have been trying to finesse him, but it's the way he moves. He doesn't look threatening. He doesn't look. If you look at DJ Academics, he's like a kid. Like he he gives off kid vibes, right? Not saying like he's immature. I'm saying he looks. He doesn't look threatening. Like, he doesn't pose a threat. I'm not talking physically. I'm talking about his demeanor, the way he carry himself. Like, he does... A lot of people are unsure. I think he's unsure about the principles that he stand on. And, and now it's starting to come... And now you're starting to see him really develop as a man. When he said, I'm not going for this, he's starting to lay down laws. As a man, you got to lay down laws. He's talking about his family ain't coming over. People ain't coming to his house. He beginning... He's Now he's just starting to... Lay down the foundation for himself as a man, for his household, his belief system. And women can sense when a man is hesitant about laying down laws because a man has to lay down, lay down the law for himself. The thing, how he's going to move as a man, his principles, his beliefs, what he's doing, what he's not going to do. Uh, he has to lay down the law for his household, the rules in his house. And he has to lay down the laws on a woman. Here's a tip. Women are chaotic and wild creatures. This is why they search for men that can give them discipline. They search for men that can correct them, like a father. So it looks like he's developing. It looks like uh, he's learning uh, about life. As you know, because we've seen academics go through a lot of stuff. You know, you got dudes on the show talking reckless to him. You had like what that nigga uh, Mike. Mike Vince from out there from Chicago, he was going off on him, making threats and man, you can't have nobody threaten you, but you know, he's coming to the understanding that this is a cruel world and sometimes you just gotta be cruel. So what do y'all think? Do y'all think uh, this girl that's putting all these accusations, trying to put this essay on, this essay allegation on DJ Academics back, y'all think she lying? Y'all think she telling the truth? Should we just believe her? Y'all flood my comments. I will see y'all next time. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Y'all be safe. 250, capital G, Rooted in Music TV. I'm gone.